Hello, Larry. How you doing? Hey, listen. Bromark Farms here on the YouTube channel. Now this It's still free to subscribe, and uh, this is the 25th day of June. And uh, I'm going to attempt to give you a full tour of what we've done to this, okay? So uh, if I forget anything, ask some questions and leave some questions in the comment. And uh, I'll get Cindy out of here to help me do this tour, and I'll video it, and uh, we'll let's see what we've done, Larry, okay? Alrighty. Thank you so much, Larry, for requesting this. Hello, Larry. This is your tour of our 1969 Holiday Rambler. And for those who don't know who Larry is, Larry is Mobile Tech. He uh, restores and refurbishes canned hams in um, Nevada? Yes. Yes. Anyway, we've been working on this for five years, and we are to the point now to where we are ready to put a belly pan under. We've almost got all the solar, the wires are ran. Now we just need to get in the back and um, attach everything. That's Mark's job. Um, but um, after we get the belly pan, the solar, we're gonna paint. And our paint scheme is gonna be black on the bottom and a pearl on top. And um, that's about the, it for the outside. Here we are. This is the truck where Almark Solar is going to go. Um, as you can see, we've got batteries here. We're going to put two batteries over here on a little stand. Inverter here. We're going to have to put a um, computer fan or something in here to circulate the air. That little vent is rather small we feel like and over here as you can see the solar panels we have six solar panels if we put the other two on we'll be going higher up over the air conditioner using a rack to put them up high. Yeah, right now we're sitting at, with these four panels, they're 1,460 watts. Yeah, so. With a 6,000 watt inverter. See what happens there. I upgraded this to a uh, 50 amp. It's upgraded to 50 amp. So it's uh, originally had uh, five circuits in it. It's got the 14 circuits in it now. I do have the rock guard, which is black. We painted it black and left the uh, aluminum, just the aluminum color. Uh, and once we get it painted, I can put that back on. <coughs> On the originals, they were painted red, as you can see. And there is a United States little plaque that goes on here. Holiday Rambler badge. Hol yeah, Holiday Rambler badge. We've got those. Um, we uh, bought them from a person that did them with a 3D laser printer. So, but... We're going to, I think we're talking about putting a vinyl here and make it look, do the map of Tennessee and then put the United States on top of it. Yeah, and Larry, uh, we uh, we broke down and did the windows after watching you uh, do the windows. So we tore down the windows. We felt with confidence after watching you that we could tear the windows apart and rebuild them. And that's what we did to each and every one of the windows. Thanks, Larry. The door, I had a sign painter uh, uh, help me make, fix the door because the door is all tore up. That door is made with uh, 0 0.042 metal. Uh, it's a little less than what an Airstream would be, but it's old billboard metal. Okay. We um, had a, uh, we didn't have a screen door and we ordered one from like somebody selling parts off of a, uh, another RV or a Holiday Rambler. But apparently it was for the boyfriend door and it was too narrow. 
So we had a, a cabinet maker friend make us a wooden screen door. So. Here, I'll hold your door for you. We bought the um, Lipner. Lippard. Lippard. College steps, which we really like them, um, but we do have an issue. We can't close our door with the steps down, so we've yet to decide how we're going to fix that. Oh, this, the light. Mm -hmm. okay. We also found someone that was selling an old light that uh, is for the original Holiday Rambler. It plugs into this plug. And then you have a collar that you screw it on with to keep it say there. Uh, it was something that we will have to take off and put back on every time we travel but it's part of the original stuff. And it's hard to plug. <laughs> and come in. This is our living room. Um, it is a, this does make into a bed. We did buy the fabric at a local fabric shop and had a lady recover it for us. Uh, Mark says he had a shirt like that when he was in the eighth grade. The paisley, the, and then um, here we have a uh, pie, a Cragger Pioneer eight track tape player that uh, we found at a yard sale. And this is the original old clock. We need to get the workings fixed in the back of it. This here, this board came from an old church pew and it looked, made a beautiful, uh, Mark calls it dashboard. We have storage back here. Of course, the little doors up front. Then we have storage here. And like I said, this part pulls out, and these two stay go side by side and make our bed. This was the rest of the church pew, it was the back, and we made it into the table. We have a nice funeral parlor chair that we thought would go well with the dinette area. This is part of the original cabinetry. All the cabinetry we kept and just replaced doors. We kept all the original knobs and even, oopsie, the original clips. And storage down here. Then this, is a little residential refrigerator that we found at Lowe's and it fit perfectly in the slot from the old refrigerator. We're gonna do a toaster oven, air fryer, do that instead of having an oven oven. We went with an electric range top, four burners. We had um, the old Holiday Rambler only had one cabinet that came over and then we had a gas stove with an oven on top, which we redid all of that. Um, we did, I didn't want to have any gas. It's just my preference. So this cabinet was part of the kitchen cabinets from another trailer up that we had bought for parts and pieces. And then uh, this is the original 
kitchen design for the cabinetry. This is the original sink. This is the original cabinet for a National Holiday Rambler. All of our drawers, we um, had to remake them because we wanted slides because they just had the little rolly wheel on the little piece of metal. So we did that and then we made our own cutting board. This was just a piece of the same um, from the original. It was just laminate. So we took old pieces of wood and glued them together. Under here, we have a 2.5 gallon, oopsie, hot water heater. And it's also considered a Insta-Hot. So, uh -oh. And then um, there's storage under here, under the stove. So, um, storage under the stove and then this area was where the old um, furnace went so we um, are going to put we took the furnace out we're going to use a little infrared he heater slides right in there perfectly and then whatever else you need to slide in beside it water, garbage. Alright, then here's the bedroom. Uh, the original floor plan, this all is the original floor plan. We took and, like I said, just duplicated what we needed to or replaced what we needed. The bed is a three-quarter bed and we went ahead and just got a normal house mattress. Um, we debated and debated on what to do. But we just went with that. Underneath is our 42-gallon uh, fresh water tank. And uh, the main panel box. Um, the main panel box. <clears throat> Mark has fixed it to where we have all the heavy-duty panel box things underneath all the 120, the air conditioner, the refrigerator, the stove, everything's underneath and all the light duty and the 12 volt is up here, which we've still got to finish in that area. I handmade the quilt and the curtains. I've done all the painting. This was an original little light from before. We saved it. This. Will it come on? Oh, what? Uh, yeah, I guess it will. There oh, creepy. Okay. And then, uh, since it is a 69, we have a moonwalk picture that we will be hanging and taking down and hanging and taking down every time we travel. So, um, keeping with the 69 theme, you have to have a lava lamp and um, then these old lamps they're not 60s they're probably 40s but I just loved them so they I've added them then our bathroom um, we have decided to do a cassette toilet instead of um, having a black tank uh, this little thing pops apart, you can take it in, dump it, you know, wherever, any gas station or rest area or whatever. I have lots of storage. I have two full closets from all the way to the floor. And then um, then we have little short ones which actually right now have the solar wires hanging out of it. <laughs> and then this 
uh, we redid the cabinet here, but that's the original sink, the original Mandelson cabinet, and the little light. Our bathtub is the original bathtub, too, for the night, this trailer. Uh, it's fiberglass, and it only had a few leaks, and we refiberglassed it and put it in. This is our complete tour of the Holiday Rambler. Oh, we did put in three fantastic fans. Two of them will reverse and one of them will not. One's just a fan. I think this one's just the plain, plain Jane. And the other two can either go, go either direction. And then we have a little present. It used to have one of the uh, little doors, accordion doors, and we just put a curtain in. This fall we'll be on the road somewhere if it's just to see Tennessee at every other weekend. We've we'll got to go to Nevada and see yeah. Larry. <laughs> um, yes. Go somewhere. Okay, then uh, that's it. Uh, she's uh, told you what we need, uh, what we've done, and uh, I should be planning on finishing this up by the end of this month, try to the best I can. And uh, thank you for coming by and, and uh, oh yeah, we gotta do. This is the period vehicles. A 1969 Camaro, orange in color, and a 1969 Mustang Boss, yellow in color. Okay, yeah. And that's the tour. On the floor has a uh, oh, yeah. linoleum, which is a Jerusalem stone style. And, uh, yeah. Yellow and orange are big colors for 1969. That's why we went with it. Got the old macrame. Uh, we got some macrame in there just for the period of time. Yeah. All right, Larry. I hope you like it. Leave us a comment. See what you think. Okay. Okay, and as always, read your Bible every day, be sensitive to that spirit, and uh, quit sinning, and just enjoy traveling with your RVs. I hope to see you out there uh, this uh, fall. Thank you so much.